What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Junior. Ah, shit. Don't really know how to start this. But, um. Basically, I'm starting off this YouTube channel. Um, just because, uh. I'm gonna start doing stuff to my car. Uh, I'll show you guys what car I have in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, yeah, the reason I'm starting off this YouTube channel is because I wanna, um. I just wanna. You know, document some of the stuff that I end up doing to it, and you know, see if it goes, you know, from there. But yeah, basically that's it. Yeah, I mean the car that I have right now is completely stock. So um, yeah, I just wanna see how long it takes me to get it to where you know I envision it to be and stuff like that. And yeah. But yeah, today I'm dropping it off somewhere, but I'm not gonna include that in this video. Um, I do, although, have some stuff planned for it today. Um, some parts came in, parts if you want to consider them. But yeah, yeah, this is, uh, I don't know, it's gonna take me a while getting used to talking to the camera, but all right, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Now, so for the car that I do own, I do own a 2015 Mazda 6. Um, as you can see right here, it's still dirty. I probably should have washed it. But yeah, I do own a 2015 Mazda 6. It is completely stock. I got this car, I want to say about seven or eight months ago. Um, yeah, just a quick walk around. I haven't done anything to it at all. I've only, the only thing that I've done, yeah, I actually haven't done anything to it at all. But yeah, I'm excited because you never see um, any of these cars modified. I have seen a few, but you know, I don't know. I just think that it would be cool that if I took some time out to document some of the stuff I did today, who knows, you know, some people might actually benefit from it. What I am going to end up doing today is I am going to end up installing these LEDs out to my car. As you see, I did get this from Check It Auto, so I will, um, I will leave the link in the description just so, just in case you guys want to check it out and install these in your car as well. Um, I do, although, want to, I know that. We will be replacing the lights. These lights right here, so I do want to get a before and after. As you can see right there. I've always wanted to replace these, just because I've never really liked the, how they look in the rear. I do also know that it does come with these bulbs right here. Although I don't really, I'm not too sure how I feel about adding LEDs to this from my rear view lights, but we'll see about that. I know it also replaces these right here for your door. And obviously it replaces these. And I know that some of these Mazda 6s do come with a light right here, but my car doesn't. So, but I mean, at least you know that it brings up just in case. Um, I believe you have like a higher trim because I know all I have is a sport, so. But yeah, let's get started. All right. So I completely forgot that we do also end up replacing this bulb right here. Now. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. But I think all you have to do is just pull down right here. There we go. Like that. So I just stuck my finger in between here. It's like that. Put it in between there and just pull down. Now, we just have to replace this bulb right here. Now, be careful because it do, does end up getting hot. The bulb that I ended up taking out. And then this is the one that I am going to be replacing with. This LED right here. As you can see. Now, this shouldn't be too hard. All I did was... Let's see. Alright, 
So I finally got into going right. It wasn't that hard, I just had it positioned wrong. I don't know if you could really tell, just because it's pretty bright outside. But yeah, this is how. Let me just put this back on real quick. It does look a lot brighter and wider. So yep, that's that one. This is the one I took out. Now the next step is to get these. I do know that for these you do need to remove these clips right here. These little ones. Um, I believe it goes all the way around. And then there is some dug up in here, as you can see right there. So if you give me one second, and boom, there you go. All right. So for these to take this off, um, if you guys are not taking it off, this is this is right here. Well, it's inside here actually, like this. And basically, what uh, what I did to take it off, because this it will get in the way. Um, basically, you just I just pulled down using this, and I was able with some pressure to get this off. And it does clip back on, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, once you get that off, the bulbs are going to be over here. They will be placed right here. I did already loosen them. Basically, what I did is... So, this one, there's another one right here. So, basically, what's, what I did was I just... With these little scoop, with these things right here, just apply some pressure on both sides. Let me see. Again, the camera right here and right here. Just apply some pressure on both of them, and I just stuck them down because you don't have to take them off. And let's see now, let's see if we can get this. I'm yeah. All right, let me just put the camera down, and then um, we'll go from there. Alright, so I was able to get it off, so what I ended up doing was, I ended up, um, since it's already off, it's a lot easier, but I, I ended up basically shoving in my screwdriver in here, I don't know if you can see, I ended up, let me see, I ended up putting my screwdriver in through there, and pressing down on this little tab, and then when I pressed down, I basically just pulled this little piece off, this little plastic plastic clear piece off and it exposes the bulb so now we just all we gotta do is just replace this one all right there we go so as you can see there is a difference this one is a lot brighter and wider so yeah i'm just i mean it's kind of bright now so you won't be able to tell the difference but yeah so basically i'm just gonna put this one back on and then replace this one and then we'll get on to the rest of them those but sweet this is coming out nice i don't know why but i've always wanted leds on my car oh they turned off just because of how bad it is but sweet let's see and there we go yeah all right so let me get done with the rest of them and then we'll continue on with the rest of the car before I do end up forgetting, I do want to let you guys know that this is how the other bowl that I did replace it with look like. This is how it looks like. Yeah, just because I don't, I don't think I ended up showing you guys. Yep, placing it with this one. Now for the doors, basically all you have to do is you just basically get your screwdriver and you just, let's see, you can just pop it, this in here, and you you just have to apply a little bit of pressure to it and there you go pops right off and as you can see the bulb is right there the same exact ones that we use for the um license plate lights 
So, yeah, I just pop this one off. Ooh, it is hot though, so. Watch out for that and we'll replace it with the other one. All right, so yeah, so once I got it on, I just popped in the LED and then all that's left is just to basically just put this back on. And voila, just like that. As you can see, it does look a lot, less, a lot nicer compared to this side. It's just yellow and blue. So now I'm just gonna replace this side, doing the same exact thing. Alright guys, so I decided that I'm more than likely I'm not gonna install the reverse lights on my car just because um I don't know I just I kind of for some reason I don't want to but um if there is somebody that would like to see me uh, install them make sure to leave a comment in, in the comment section um and I'll make sure to address that in another video. Um, Alright, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and install these. Uh, but I'm gonna wait till later on tonight just because it's really hot right now and I don't want to be in my car while I'm doing this. And also, um, it probably might look, end up looking a lot better um, if I do end up doing it at night. That way you could notice from the lights. But yeah, see you guys in a bit. There we go. So yeah, you just got to stick this in. Um, now, the reason I did put the tape is, as you can see right here, once you do put pressure onto this, it there is a chance that you could mess up this little plastic thing right here. But yep, got this off. There we go. Uh, so there you have it. Now, as you can see, all I basically did was I pulled this little thingy up and then the halogen bulb came out. So that's basically all you need to do for that one. I'm gonna install this right here. Now it is dark, so it is hard to see. But I will be installing this one. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. I probably won't be able to, so. All right, so I was able to install both of them. I did have a bit of trouble with this one, but I mean, I was able to get it. Now, if you guys want to see how it looks, there it is. This is how it looks compared to these. I don't know if you can really tell with, by the camera, but yeah, these are a lot brighter. Let's see how it looks from inside the car. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if the camera will pick this up good just because it's got dark pretty soon. But it looks. It came out pretty nice. Alright, so now I gotta do the. The ones in the rear. It should be the same thing. Just another pocket screwdriver. In between here pulling down the same thing so see you guys on tomorrow all right now for the rears um these seem to be a lot easier to remove the other ones that did struggle a bit more i don't know if you guys can see this but i just put the screwdriver in through here and i just pulled out like that and there we go now we'll see how they look once they're both out all right so i got the rears and also uh, the front and I gotta say it looks really really nice I really hope that the but it's a lot brighter than with the halogen bulbs that I used to have alright guys but that's gonna be the end of the video um, if you guys are wondering why I have a different color shirt on that is because it is an actual it's actually a different day already I ended up um, taking the car to the shop, but I just forgot to shoot an outro for the video. But yeah, if you guys made it to the end, you know, please like, comment, and subscribe and all that shit. Uh, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. And please bear with me because this is going to take me a while to get used to. I'm not used to, you know, recording and stuff. So yeah, it's going to, yeah, but I'll, I'll get the hang of it. But yeah, once again, thanks guys and uh, see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned because that's just going to be clean. Trust, trust. <laughs>